Welcome to iDency's Malwarebytes Endpoint Protection Overview video. I'm Luke, and in this video I'm going to show you some of the features of Malwarebytes Endpoint Protection, including main dashboard, adding endpoints, adding policies, and other key features. If you would like to skip to one of the different sections of the Malwarebytes Overview, please use the timestamps provided. Main Dashboard This is the typical view of the Malwarebytes dashboard. At the top there's a range of data from the last 72 hours that includes the endpoint devices that are infected, and those that are currently online and offline. There's also data from the same time period for threats that have been cleaned, and this gives details of any malware, PUPs and PUMs and tasks from the past 24 hours that have been successful, those that failed, and those that are pending. If you want to see details for a longer period, you can see the history for the last 90 days, which include any malware, PUPs, and PUMs that have been picked up. A really useful feature of this for your overall awareness is the number of threat occurrences per day. Another great overview feature of the dashboard is that it will display the top 10 infected endpoints, top 10 malware infections, top 10 PUP and PUM infections, all for the past 90 days. Right, that's the dashboard covered, let's take a look under the surface. Choose the endpoints tab and you get a screen showing the number of your endpoint devices that are online and offline. Select offline endpoints and you can take a look at the amount of time they have been offline. Endpoints that have been offline for 6 months or more won't be displayed, but they are not removed from the system. If they come online, they will show again on the display. Click on any of the numbers to display only those endpoints. Adding endpoints This section is where you can add and manage the endpoint devices. To add an endpoint, click Add, and it'll pop up a new screen. Choose the most appropriate agent installer for your needs. You can also push the Malwarebytes installer over the network. This can be done using the Malwarebytes discovery and deployment tool. This tool will scan the network and push the downloader to the endpoints. When you add an endpoint, it's assigned to the default group and the default policy. You can change this by ticking the box to select the endpoint and then click to move it to the group it should be in. You can also make changes to one or more endpoints by scanning plus quarantine, refreshing assets and checking for protection updates. Adding policies. Go to the settings tab to find options you can adjust that govern the behavior of policies, schedules, exclusions, groups and users. In the Policy tab, you can adjust the existing policies and create new policies. When editing a policy, you have a few options to set up. Choose General to edit the policy name and set a few interface options. In the Asset Management section, you can select from either Windows or Mac to edit some events to report. In Incident Response, you can change some scan options the impact of scans on the system, and the reboot options. Choose Endpoint Protection, and you can adjust the real-time protection features, the scan options, protection updates, startup options, impacts of scans on the system, reboot options, and Windows Action Center features. The Schedule section shows all your existing schedules, and you can add new schedules here. Go to the Exclusions section for any exclusions you have configured. You can add new exclusions here if Malwarebytes is flagging a new program that you know is genuine. Add and edit groups in the Group section and manage your users in the User section. Other key features The Threats tab is to find records of threats found, quarantined, deleted, restored and cleaned offline. The Quarantine tab displays all records for anything that has been put into quarantine 
for example, something that might be harmful, you then decide whether to delete or keep. This can also be set to delete or ignore automatically in the policy. Real-time protection displays all the endpoints that are on real-time protection. This section displays files or processes that have been found to be potentially harmful in real time. The events tab shows events across all endpoints. The events display the timestamp, the severity of the record, the event type, and which endpoint the record is displayed for. The task tab displays all the tasks that have been carried out, as well as pending tasks and anything that is currently processing. That's it for now. Don't forget, if you'd like any more information about Malwarebytes, its features and what it can do for you, you can find out more from our website and its ever-increasing knowledge base at idency.com. If you'd prefer to talk to a friendly human, we have an ever-increasing team of them ready to help, so please do give us a call. I've been Luke for Idency, securing your digital world. Thanks for watching.